Airtable is a great tool for collecting client info, tracking services, and managing your projects. But when it comes to generating contracts for those clients, well, things can get clunky if you don't know your options. If you're still copying and pasting client details into Google Docs or Adobe Acrobat, or you're still manually entering data into your document tool, then this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we get companies set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. There's absolutely no argument that Airtable is a great tool for managing and tracking your clients, services, and deliverables, but documentation, well, it doesn't do this natively too well. Instead, real power comes when you connect your Airtable to other platforms in order to generate, manage, and track your documents. You might be using QuickBooks for your bookkeeping or DocuSign for your contracts and agreements, but have you looked at automating your docs using a tool like Docs Automator or Document? These platforms enable you to build beautiful and professional document templates that dynamically generate with your client data. Okay, so here we have our sales hub or sales pipeline in Airtable. It's the place that our leads will come through as opportunities and those leads will have meetings with our sales reps. And for them to successfully become an account or a client, we need to ensure that we send over a contract to them. Now, because we already currently have the details and the data we need within Airtable, why don't we natively generate these contracts? Now, there's two paths we'll look at in today's video. The first is going to be using the extension, the page designer. So you'll select tools and we'll see extensions here. These are extended functionality apps of the Airtable app. So you'll need to add the extension and then you'll search for the page designer. If you don't already have it, add it to your app. So we've added it. Let's jump into the editor here. And you'll notice that you have some options on the left. If you pull in your fields, these are the fields from the currently open table, you'll notice that this comes through as a table itself. Instead, you could rely on, like we've done here with the contract title, bring in text and use the dynamic field from your Airtable base. Here we can see we've got contract name. If we jump out, we've got the contract name here that we can see automation systems and contract. Let's jump back into the editor. You can also add images here, but you will need to provide a public facing URL. Now we've got text elements. So here we can see we've got static text, but if I were to add another text element, we know this is prepared for our client. However, we are currently in contracts and we'll see here that we've got the opportunity as that client. So we'll need to reference that in the page designer. So back in the editor, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in opportunity. And there we can see it's already brought in that value. If we jump onto the next record, it dynamically updates and so does the contract name we can see there. So you can work your way through the page designer and create a document that best suits your contract. However, there are limitations in using this. Now, the first limitation is that because this is an extension of your Airtable app, it's not part of it, we can't actually connect this contract to the record. Now, the issue that arises there is every time that you need to generate a record, you would have to jump out of your meeting and jump into Airtable, select the correct record, open the tool extension, download that as a PDF, and then either attach it to the record or send it by email. It's unfortunate that we can't automate the sending of the contract over to the client. And that's where the next process that we're going to look at comes in. Creating a templatized document like we've done here using a platform like Document, which is the editor UI we can see here, or Docs Automator. These document generation platforms are incredibly helpful because it enables you to quickly connect your work management platform, Airtable, Monday, Notion, to them to easily generate beautiful customized documents. Now, another issue of the page designer, which I didn't mention is you can't dynamically set pages. If you have long text that somehow pushes onto the next page, you're going to find an ugly and clunky document generated. If you want to learn how you can best use Airtable in your workflows, be sure to check out our no code architecture series. I've made sure to leave a link to that in the description below. Now you also might want to consider the pricing of the document generating platforms. We can see the document is 39 per month, giving you 200 generated documents and docs automator undercuts that massively with just $19 per month. Now that is on the monthly plan yearly on both you get significant savings. The reason that Docs Automator is at that lower price when looked at document is because you can do quite a bit more with document. 
the API ability of Document enables you and your team to achieve that much more. But if you are considering whether you should be paying that extra subscription, well, this depends entirely on how many documents you're generating a month. If you are looking to automate this process, that could be contracts, invoices, proposals, team docs, meeting agendas, and so on. Well, the value is definitely there at just $15 a month to save you and your team hours that is usually spent on generating contracts, writing out proposals. And when we compare this to the page designer, yes, it is free, but you still do have to jump in, download that PDF, ensure that it's not clunky and ugly and that all the details are correct, then send it over to the client. This is fine when you are a smaller team managing a smaller number of clients, but when you want to consider data, privacy, and automating manual tedious tasks, it is definitely worth paying the price. Now, enough talking about Document and Docs Automator. Let's actually look at setting these up. So here we can see I've created a contract and within it, we've got, again, dynamic content. The contract title, client first name, company address, so on. And then if we get into the nitty gritty of the actual contract itself, here we can see that we're bringing in values and we also have the ability to send this as a document that prompts them to sign straight away. The difference with the page designer and Airtable is that that's just going to generate a PDF that they'll have to open via Adobe Acrobat or a supporting e-signature platform. You'll also notice on the side panel here that you have further elements you can add to your document like a barcode or QR code for instance, and these can also be dynamic. You also have a page break so you can control how your document looks and how it's broken up. From there, all I'll need to mention that you ensure that the text placeholders, the dynamic text you have actually matches the title fields. So if we jump into our Airtable data with contract selected, we can see we have contract name, not contract title. So we'll jump back in and we want to ensure that this text here is in lowercase and correctly matches that field type. So we'll jump into integrations and you will need to select your data source. If you don't see your data source supported, you can use Zapier there and you'll most likely be able to find that app available, the data source. You can select custom data source and set this up, but if you're using Airtable, this is much easier. We'll notice that we've got three ways that we can actually set up this generation of a document. We've got the generation link, which is a formula, which will jump into Airtable, copy it, and then paste it into the formula. It'll be a button that we can then select and shoot off this generation. And we've also got the automation script, which is something we have gone through in other videos looking at Docs Automator. It's a script that we'll be using in an automation natively in Airtable. When a trigger event occurs, like I mentioned before, a button is clicked or a status is updated to ready for contract or needs proposal or send invoice. Now, when we compare Document to Docs Automator as document generation platforms, we could say that the options that we have in setting this up with Document are better than what we have available with Docs Automator. Now, we are going to look at running a script. So I've gone ahead and I've copied that. I just need to grab my table URL. I'm not going to show you guys this because I don't want you trying to access this. So we'll jump in, we'll paste that there. And like I mentioned before, make sure the capitalized letters are capitalized both in here as they are in your sales hub. Um, we're gonna override attachments and then we're gonna jump into Airtable. We're gonna head to automations and we're gonna set up the automation to generate our documents. So here we can see we've got the trigger event. When a record matches conditions, we've got the when the status is active, nope. Let's go ready for contract. What we do then is let's delete this that's been brought in as a template. And then we're going to add a run script step. And we're going to paste that script right there. Nope, we've still got the link selected. Let's jump back in. Let's copy that bad boy. And we're going to paste that here. Boom. How nice. Okay. Rather than just testing it, I'm going to jump straight in. And we're going to save this, naming this. Let's rename the automation to generate contract. So we've updated that automation, generate contract. Notice that we also have the generate contract button automation here, which can be set up when somebody clicks a button, it automatically generates that contract. But if we jump into the data, we're going to jump into our opportunities. We've got inactive. Let's set that from inactive to ready for contract. And then if we jump into our contracts right here, we can see that we've had a new contract created and linked to the record. Now we can also jump into automation from there and set up a new automation so that when the trigger event being a contract has been generated a record, we send an email to that attached email, the client, they receive it, they know that they need to sign it and 
happy days. Now I will quickly share this with you that in Docs Automator, we can actually have this set up directly within the automation. We'll notice here that we can connect easily to our Airtable data source. We'll quickly save and continue. We can generate a doc using one of their templates from scratch, which you'll notice itself, it's already a beautifully crafted document. And then we can actually set up a step where we send an email directly from Docs Automator over to our customer. Yes, we do still have to set up the run script step in Airtable automations, but it's really cool to see that they're considering the entire workflow, the entire process. They want to enable you to be able to send this newly generated document directly via email to your client. Whereas with document, we actually have to get this done directly in Airtable. And this process isn't just limited to generating contracts. You can generate invoices, proposals. In fact, if you want to learn how to generate invoices using a similar method, then check out this video linked here. And if you want to learn how you could get your business set up and automated on Airtable, do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where a team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.